Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. And I do pray that you're in a hopeful place today. Here we are one day, uh, uh, 12 to 14 hours or so after most of the voting places closed last night and we still don't have a winner in the presidential election. And they're now talk, talking on uh, all different sides about uh, recounts and lawsuits. And my word of encouragement to all of us today is actually right from the word of God. Be still and be patient. Uh, uh, there is um, uh, much at stake here in uh, the United States, uh, but nothing in the spiritual realm is at stake at all other than the state of our souls, and they're in the hands of the Lord. God is watching over his people. Uh, God is still in charge. Uh, the more chaotic it gets uh, in our world here, uh, the firmer God has control of all that's going on. Put your trust in him. Be still and wait patiently. Uh, I was reading a psalm this morning that I just have to share. Uh, just a few verses with you. Uh, actually from Psalm 37. And I don't know whether you've uh, read Psalm 37 in a while, but uh, this really jumped out at me as a word uh, from the Lord to me today. And I hope it is to you also because... Uh, we're seeing accusations made now that uh, are not helpful at all. And I uh, got a wonderful little text message from uh, a former student of mine uh, who actually had posted this on uh, one of his social media accounts. And it, it said this, if you are my friend and you voted for Joe Biden, you are still my friend. If you are my friend and you voted for Donald Trump, you are still my friend. But if you have unfriended me because of the way you think I might have voted, then you weren't my friend at all. So be patient. God's going to sort all this out. And listen to his word this morning. In Psalm 37, it says, Do not fret because of evil ones, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will do this. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when others succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn away from wrath. Do not fret, it only leads to evil. For evil ones will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found, but the meek will inherit the land and enjoy great peace. One of those verses hit me in a very powerful way. Uh, verse 7, Psalm 37, verse 7. I looked it up in the Hebrew. It's Dom Adonai Wahotel Lo. Do not fret. Be still. Rest in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. So we're in a waiting mode right now, and our marching orders, at least mine, are pretty clear. I'm to do good and to not fret. I'm to commit my way to the Lord and follow him. So what do we do when there's uncertainty? What do we do when there's a time of waiting? What do we do when we don't know what's going to happen? We trust in the Lord and be still and wait patiently for him. We refrain from anger. We commit ourselves to doing all the good we can in as many ways as we can, to as many people as we can, uh, wherever we can, and with all the strength that we have. To paraphrase the great John Wesley, we do all the good we can today to as many people as we can. 
We start by praying for them. Uh, there is violence rising up in the streets again. We pray for them. There, there are lawsuits being filed in courts over elections. We pray for them. We don't get angry. We don't fret. We trust in the Lord with all our hearts. Uh, and as Psalm, as uh, Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 7 says, we trust in the Lord with all our hearts and we lean not unto our own understanding. In all our ways, we acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. So today of all days, do as much good as you can. Be as compassionate as, and kind as you can and pray for those who are losing control of themselves right now. We're not going down that path. We commit our ways to the Lord. God's still in charge. His glory will be shown, first of all, in us, if we allow it to. Allow God to shine forth in us. And be still today, wait patiently, and know that the Lord himself is God. He is the one who made us. We didn't make ourselves. We're not making all this happen. God is still in charge. And love him and trust in him today. And I do hope you have a restful day today, but do all the good you can to all the people you can, as long as you can. God bless you, and uh, trusting in him, I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.